everyone, Chris here, the RC Geek out of the field, and we are taking a look at the new XFly T7A. Uh, really unique subject. Uh, this is the new Air Force trainer uh, that Boeing is working on. Uh, and so, you know, in terms of models, there's not much out there of this subject. Uh, and so, this is 64 millimeter EDF. Uh, I'm really blown away by the finish. It is insanely smooth. The whole airframe, uh, the finish of it, it's really quite impressive. Uh, it's got the fixed gear, of course, uh, and so, yeah, as a flyer, it's a nice flying little airplane. Now, in terms of the assembly, it starts out, you slide the wings on over the carbon spar. Uh, those get held in place with two screws, and then you glue the horizontal tails on. I just used uh, some medium CA there. Uh, and if you find that you've got some overspray in there, clean that up with some acetone before you glue it just to ensure you get a good quality bond. Uh, and then you glue the vertical tails on. And then to finish it up, you drop the fixed gear in. They are removable. Uh, the mains just screw into place. And then the nose, you slide it through and there's a, a capture clevis kind of device uh, in the nose that engages with the servo. And so that's how the steering works. There's no skid plates or anything underneath, so if you're wanting to use it as a hand launch, just keep that in mind. Uh, it'll get torn up on asphalt, uh, but on grass it might do okay. I'm using a 4S2200 pack. You've got a nice big hatch here. Uh, and so that pack is pushed all the way back in uh, this battery area. And so it's a 2200. I do wish I had a little bit more capacity. That's kind of what I had. It recommends a 2600. I actually have a 3200 pack that I may try at some point just to see how it does. Uh, but that battery pushed all the way back. The CG really feels good to me. Now, if you look at the bottom of the airplane, there's a plastic keeper here where you screw the forward screw. Well, this line, that aligns right with the CG. And so if you pick your, the airplane up, on that line uh, and it's level that's going to give you the CG about perfectly. In terms of the controls, I'm at my mid rates all around. So mid rate aileron, mid rate elevator. Uh, and so for the aileron, I'm at 60% with 6% expo. For the elevator, same thing, 60%, 6% expo. And then for the steering, I'm at 60% with 25% Expo. Uh, it's quite sensitive there and it doesn't need a lot of travel. Uh, and so yeah, flying the airplane, it really looks good. It maneuvers well, uh, performance is good. It sounds awesome. Uh, it's got a really authentic sound to it. Uh, and so it, it lands really nicely as well. Now one thing to keep in mind when you look at the relationship between the landing gear and the CG, the landing gear, are pretty far back so you may have to give it a little bit more elevator to rotate or you may find that the airplane kind of jumps off the ground a little bit uh, so do keep that in mind but it's not a big deal i find that carrying a little up elevator in the takeoff roll helps it to rotate a little bit easier uh, and so yeah otherwise maneuvering in flight uh, rolls nicely inverted flight doesn't require a whole lot of down elevator to stay level Nice big verticals, uh, and so yeah, it's it's uh, a really impressive little airplane. All right, so let's go take this out to the field. We'll give you guys a flight. This is the 4S2200 to fix gear, uh, and then we'll come back and wrap this up.
T7, oh, pretty cool little shape. You know, you got the single engine, leading edge sawtooth. It's like, uh, kind of like a single engine F18 almost. Uh, but you got a little bit longer nose, I would say. But it's a cool shape. All right, there we have the X-Fly T7A. Uh, this is a really nice looking airplane. I'm hopeful that we might see a larger version with retracts. Uh, it's a really great subject. Uh, it looks cool in the air. Uh, and so, yeah, this is a really impressive offering from X-Fly. The finish on it is extremely smooth. I'm excited uh, to see what they have coming in the future. Uh, and so, yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow along on social media at the RC Geek. Subscribe. Until next time, we'll see you at the field. Hey, everyone. Chris here, the RC Geek. Ah, uh, eh. <laughs> yeah, I can go take a nap. <laughs> you need a nap. I can tell. Te siete. Your stick's crooked. <laughs> Maybe it's just the... That's crooked. All right, here we go.